So the T480S is very similar, as you can see the heat sink, the pipe and the fan on the other side of the laptop. So here's the battery, so rather than having two batteries in the 470 there's just one here. But again, a very similar situation, so we've got those four screws here, as you can see. One there, two, three, four. Um, the only extra bit is this kind of add-on here, which seems to go to these chips. I'm not too sure what they are. They could be power modules, I guess. So they could be uh, just keeping those a bit cooler. Um, and then, of course, you've got the fan connector there, which I've already unplugged. That just pushes out. So as you can see, that just goes in there, and then you just pull that one out. And then the fan will lift off and away. And there's the main CPU, and I think that must be the graphics then, so that's good. And these are the modules, which has the extra bit. Um, they're only transferring the heat by these NAF sticky pads. So I'm not quite sure how efficient they will be. Um, I've removed the paste, as you can see. That's already gone. And um, yeah, there's the fan. And this is what's underneath, not really much. So yeah, I'm just going to apply the same compound. So Arctic Silver, my one of choice. As for these modules, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with those. Because the trouble is, they probably need something to stick to them. And if I remove the pads, they're not going to touch. Um, if I put a heat sink compound in, I don't know if that will help or not. It's probably not needed. I think if they needed uh, to touch the copper, then they would already be doing that. So I'm just going to clean it up and then put the Arctic Silver on here as before.